You want to mount a Pelican case on top of your Prince of Roof Rack on a Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You can do this with pretty much any hard shell case that you want to, like a Pelican. I chose a cheaper option from Harbor Freight. This is just the Apache 9800. So the first thing I did was throw the case up on the roof rack to do a quick dry fit and get an idea of where I actually want the case to rest. Then I took some masking tape and just marked off where it would land on the rails so that later on when I'm doing my measurements, it's a little bit easier to line up where the hole should be. I used the masking tape as a reference and then measured from the middle of each slot and it was 30 inches for me. And I measured that 30 inches in the Pelican case again and laid out some more painter's tape quickly just as a guide so I'd have something to mark on once I get my exact measurements for drilling. I marked two and a half inches from the edge of the case to the inside at each of the four spots and then again measured 30 inches apart and made a mark where to drill. How far apart you need to drill each of your holes is gonna vary depending on how your rack is set up and how far apart each of your crossbars are. You're gonna need four quarter 20 one inch carriage bolts. They have a square part at the top of the bolt to keep it from rotating in the track. You'll need four quarter inch bolts and four quarter inch washers. Grab a drill bit that matches the size of your bolt. Then simply drill out each of the four holes using your drill guide. Slide in your four carriage bolts facing up and you just have to estimate about where they need to be. The hardest part of this whole project is actually just getting the bolts to come up through the holes in the exact right spot. This takes a little bit of time and patience because your hand has to fit underneath the case and kind of wiggle the bolt around until it fits in the right spot. I did have one issue with one of my holes. It was about a quarter inch off, although I measured a lot. So you may have to do a little bit more drilling to get it to fit. Once all the bolts are through, use some silicone around the base of each of the bolts to keep it water and dust tight. Then you can place your washer and finally screw on your nut. Also, I forgot to mention, you should throw a padlock on your case to keep crazy people in the Walmart parking lot from stealing your gear. All right, now we have the case solidly mounted on top of the roof rack here, and I'll show you just how solid it is. You can move the entire truck. This thing isn't going anywhere. I've been driving around with it for about a day now, and I haven't heard any rattling or movement, so it's definitely up there really solid. Let me show you how quick and easy it is to access. Just open a door, step up there, and throw your latches and boom, you can get right inside of it. Now for me, I do a lot of videography and photography, so I like having something like this for a tripod and you could throw all kinds of long equipment in here like light stands or whatever it is that you need. Obviously a rifle. A lot of guys use it for, of course, recovery gear. So you could throw straps in there, towing straps, whatever it is that you want. There's plenty of space up top for all your equipment and it should be completely waterproof so you don't have to worry about any water or dust getting into your equipment when you're on the trail. I just started this brand new channel called Toyota Rigs and of course it's all about Tacomas, Forerunners, and Tundra builds. So if you want to see more stuff like this, be one of the first persons to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.